Well, when I arrived at Mary Immaculate in 2010, one of the challenges that we faced was the fact that the children weren't achieving the results that they should have done. Uh, and one of the things I wanted to do in order to help improve that was to focus on how we track children and more importantly the intervention linked to what the data was saying. I worked closely with the data manager uh, and, and essentially set up a system whereby it was very streamlined so therefore we would be identifying what levels and grades we wanted the children to achieve uh, and then share that with the staff rather than giving them over reliance on all other sorts of data that really doesn't really impact in terms of what goes on in the classroom. Uh, so then from that we would be very clear about what we expected the children to achieve and then obviously we would be supporting staff to achieve that goal and also supporting the children. We were actually saying right we don't want you to focus on the actual numbers we want you to focus on the action. I think staff saw the benefits of that action because it meant that they had a lot less work to do in terms of Excel spreadsheets but more work to do in terms of sitting down with children and speaking to parents which has had a, a really positive impact. I think it is the spirit of accountability is the most important aspect of our tracking now because I know that I will be asked the same questions by my line manager as I ask those that I line manage and they know that um, I will be looking for the same rigour with the head of history for example as I would expect from my line manager who is the head teacher um, and I think that circle of accountability that cycle of accountability is, is very important. For example previously key stage leaders really didn't have ownership of the tracking whereas now it's not just the heads of department the heads of faculty that have that ownership but the key stage leaders also have that overview. I think the students respond very well to the tracking um, for example as being a head of faculty I undertake learning walks across the school so students know that I may come into their class and I may discuss their work with them and ask them about the work that they're undertaking find out from them how they're progressing if they know what level they're at if they know what they've got to do in order to improve upon that um, and students like that they like that I'm interested in their work one of the things that we have are red lists and yellow lists for our key stage four students so I know which students are our targeted students those that who are at risk of not achieving their C grades at GCSE, we're aware of who they are and we're aware of what needs to be done in order to help them to improve. I think it works well because we're speaking one-on-one -on -one to that child, they feel that they're being heard and if they want to implement some sort of strategy then we can work at, with it work on it together so it might be that they work separately from everybody else that they work at a different pace that we differentiate the work to them um, I can give them extra help extra worksheets and it's just a more personal one-on-one -on -one help that maybe they need away from the rest of the class and I think well I, hopefully it's going to show now in September with the results that it has worked